use the carbon that's in the carbon kit, although it's equally could be done with a glass. Uh, cut out, measure it in length and width, cut out some pieces to fit and then carefully lay them in your mould. Of course the number of layers you use depends on how thick you actually want the part, how stiff you want the part. You could do it with two layers, you could do it with three layers. What we're looking for is a balanced um, laminate, so we put the 200 gram on first, one or two layers of the 375, and then a layer of the 200 gram on top to balance the laminate out. If you take your scissors and just cut any loose strands away because you don't want them getting anywhere near where you were going to put the backing film. Right, you can now tack that material down. Notice I've wore gloves, gloves to cut it, gloves to put it on because uh, you don't want to leave oils off your fingers on it. It could spoil the laminate and actually cause weak points in the laminate. Take some of your yellow and green tape and just cut some small short pieces. Right, so, and then just make sure that it's down in the corners, but then just tack it down a little bit, just to hold it in place. Our next is to put the peel ply on. You've got a roll of this, so cut a piece off, which you can adjust the size of later. Make sure that it covers all the fabric, and then you can cut it. Peel ply, and again, just tack the peel ply in place. And the same again. So the roll of blue distribution mesh that you have, if you uh, cut a, a piece off um, roughly to shape, so this is wider at one end than the other, and what we want to do is, is just fit it in. Now you just need to cut this to the shape of your part. So it's just inside the, uh, the material, sort of 20 mil inside the fabric. Next step now is to put the bagging film on. Um, so we need to cut a piece of film, that's the purple plastic in a, another roll in your kit. Take it out, measure again this and then go at least 50% bigger in both width and length and that's what I'll do now. So we want to set up our vacuum bagging film now and there's two ways of, of um, doing it is one is either to put this sealant tape around the edge of here and then affix the bag to it or a simpler way is to put the sealant tape actually straight on the bag this enables you to make the necessary pleats that you're going to need to make so that the bag will fold up and so compact the fabric more easily. The thing we want to do now, because it's going to go that way over, isn't it? We need to just peel back. And if you peel back just 75 mil, 50, 75 mil on each corner, and fix the corner to the corner of the mould, the flanges, and press down firmly. 
had all corners uh, fixed. But if you remember on the shape of this, we've actually got an edge running along here, from here, and also one here, and one across each way there. So we need to make some pleats to allow the bag to hold in, which is why we've got extra bag. So if we take this side along here, working our way along, it's about where we need to have a pleat. So pleat. If you peel back the back of the tape and then press it down firmly, keeping your finger in there, you see there's a loop there and then we just close the loop up. So before we can close up the end we need to put a pipe in to take the resin into it and also we also need to put a pipe in obviously to take the air out. We'll take some of the yellow tape and wrap it round the pipe at that point inside the, the flange. Now we'll insert that into here. Swish it down. Get it to the bag. And then finally seal up the bag with our last bit. The other one we do exactly the same. Not only this time we don't want it to go onto the mesh, so we just take it out to the green peel ply and so as it will pull the air there and the resin won't rush in and rush up. So now I just want to clamp off the inlet side where we're going to send the resin in. So we clamp that off up close to the... So what you need is a catch pot. Um, this is an industrial one. The reason for the catch pot is to stop any resin that might come up this tube from actually going down into the vacuum line and into the vacuum pump. And now make sure that this film as it's being stuck down actually is going to be enough to compact the fabric that we put in. up more it's just as it came out of the mold or a, a UV stable lacquer could be applied on the surface to obviously improve both the gloss and also the long-term stability of the plant. <laughs> 